This tutorial will introduce you to photo effects in photo to movie 5. I assume that you've already watched the photo to movie introduction video and the timeline video. I will start with a single photo to which I can apply effects. I'm going to adjust the frame so that it is a little easier to see the effects. I click on the photo in the timeline. I need to move the scrubber to switch back into preview mode. Next, I switch to the Effects tab here. In the Inspector, I get a list of effects. I'll adjust Brightness and Contrast to Start. But you can see I have a whole range of effects. Some effects adjust the color, like Brightness and Contrast. Others adjust the look like Pixelate. Or Vignette. And others adjust the frame, like the jitter effect, which makes the frame jitter around during playback. One quick note, some effects are slow. The blur effect, for example, slows the live preview considerably. For this reason, in many cases, you'll want to apply effects at the last stage of editing your slideshow. It's also worth noting that I can apply multiple effects to achieve interesting things. That looks really nice. I can return an effect to its default values by clicking here. This essentially removes the effect from the photo. I'm going to remove all effects from this photo. In the next video, I'll show you how to use timeline markers and marker effects. 